Well, I know you just got back from vacation, but while you were gone, they passed it. They passed the health care bill. Oh, no kidding. They I didn't catch it. it. I wasn't watching TV down in South Florida. Yep, signed into law. What's that mean? You know, that's a good question. There's 2,000 pages in it. I ain't got time to read the newspaper, let alone to have to try and read through 2,000 pages, and you could fill this room full of lawyers, and I still don't think anybody would understand it. One of the things I definitely don't understand is how somehow or another there was something slipped in there about student loans and everything else. I thought this was a health care bill. Well, we got to make deals. Well, the deals for who? I thought the deal was supposed to be for us, the American public. Nah, them politicians got their own agenda. You got to give them something so they vote yes. We gave them something. We elected them into the office. Why do we got to give them something else? Hey, they want more. They want more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. Let me ask you this. Do you think the American public right now... I, I, um, how do you feel about an incumbent in office? Do you think that the American public is finally going to get smart enough to vote these incumbents out that aren't really doing what they promised? To Never. Do? I don't understand that. Look at uh, today on the radio on my way to the barber shop. Stakowski, how he saved thousands of jobs. He did this. He ain't done nothing. He's one of our what state legislators or state senators, whatever he is. He ain't done nothing. Been in here for 30 years. What did he do? Nothing. Quinn's going to run against him. I hope he beats him. He's an incumbent. You know, it, it, it just seems to me that I, I, I... Personally, I am very weary of any name in politics that I already know. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and the Quinn we're talking about is, is the son of uh, Jack, correct? I believe, yes. He's Jack Quinn's son. Yeah, and, Jack Jr. And, and, you know, nothing against him, but, but my point is, I'm just really having a hard time voting for any name that's got a political tag on it. Yeah, that's true. You know, I just hate to think about it like that. I don't know, this health care bill, you know what, I'm not a lawyer, I don't know exactly what it's all about, but I can tell you this, it's going to make me go and buy some stock you know why? I'm going to buy some stock in Vaseline because we're going to be taking it up your ass for a long time. Oh, man, daddy. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Yeah, I really, I didn't, I, I didn't know they signed it. I didn't know what's going on. But, Don't worry, you won't be able to read it anyways. But yeah, there's probably all kinds of stuff and there's a scam. Well, there's a lot of controversy over it, you know what I mean? I, I, I mean, I truly believe that they have the right idea by covering everybody with health care, but somehow, some way, I got the feeling this is going to cost me more money. I don't know. Yeah, what's it ha what happens to you now? You were paying for your own health coverage. Now, uh, what, what changes? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to pay more. I don't know. I, I just, you know, it, it seems like nothing in politics is ever easy anymore. Nobody can explain to a normal guy like me or yourself exactly what is in this bill. That's, that's what concerns me is just nobody really seems to actually be able to figure it out. It's kind of ridiculous. Well, yeah, it's a good I, thing you were on vacation. You didn't have to put up with this. Yeah, I don't know. You know what I mean? I, uh, I just don't get it. What, put it this way. Whatever benefits all them politicians, that's why they voted yes for it because there was something in it for them. Money for their districts. Something. Something. Job for the family members. I don't know. I don't know the first thing. I gotta read into it because I ain't, you know, I've been out of the loop. Yeah, you know, sometimes I think it wouldn't be better just to stay out of the loop. There you are, bro. I don't even watch TV because it, it, it doesn't matter. It does We got no control over it. I know. You're only told what the, the news media tells you. Oh, they're the scammers too. Now so many of us are getting scammed. It's just the way it is. Scamming. Never, never stop. Man. Never stop. Yeah. Republicans, Democrats, they all got their own agenda.
Well, I got my own agenda too. Yeah, but yours doesn't matter to them. But I'm a voter. Yeah, they don't care. Maybe what we need is more voters. Never say it. Yep. Well, while you were away, you didn't notice this, but I um, I made a post, and you can come here to find out for details, but uh, I'm offering a free haircut to any new first-time registered voter. No kidding. What do you think about that? That's big time. You know what? Nobody cares about you except your friendly local neighborhood. Barber. That's it. He's going, oh, I ain't going to screw you. 